But good morning. <laughs> it takes hours to get you out of the house. So good morning everybody. Kevin wants to go do some fun stuff today to take you guys on a tour. I'll let him tell you all about it. Okay, in the attempts of getting Val out of the house and dragging you guys along for something that might be interesting, uh, we're gonna go up to Mira Loma and uh, take a little tour of um, some historical areas that was turned into a movie. Uh, we're going to go by the house that um, uh, still stands uh, with the, that was involved in the chicken coop murders that uh, Angelina Jolie turned into a movie, The Changeling. All happened just up the, the freeway from us in a town called Mira Loma. Um, in, uh, night, between 1926 and 28, um, these murders were occurring in what was called Wineville at the time and because of the murders and the notoriety that it caused um, they changed the name to Mira Loma in 1930 um, it eventually became Harupa Valley which I think just happened a few years ago So, but the house still stands and it's actually occupied and so we're not going to get, we're not going to be creeping around. We're just going to uh, probably stop across the street and, and uh, show the house, show the street. And I kind of know where the uh, chicken coop used to stand on the property, just from looking at uh, old photographs from the, the murder scene. So um, I don't know how interesting that sounds to you, but it sounds real interesting to me. Uh, it's turned into a movie. The movie was more uh, about um, police corruption than it was the murders. So, but it was the background for the story. So we are driving on the 15 North right now. Get off on Limonite, which is about four miles. And it's a pretty nice day out. We got some billowy clouds and some haze up in the mountains there. Okay, so this is um, Limonite, and we'll be heading towards Harupa Valley, which is where uh, the house is now located. Okay, so now we're on Limonite, and we are in Harupa Valley, and we are looking for Wineville Road. That's not it. That's Palm Pant... Pat's Ranch. Pat's Ranch. This looks like Wineville coming up. So here's the remnant of the original Wineville. You can see it's all been built up. We have some new homes along here. And I don't think I can really stop here. But it's going to be the fourth house down according to my information. You can so. put your flashers on and just pull over. right here. This is it. Okay, well maybe we could turn around and pull over on the other side. They're probably used to, uh, you know, looky-loos. And I, it makes me nervous doing this because it, it, the house, it, people are living there and they're probably annoyed by all this, especially since the movie came out. How annoying. So this is the actual area. There was nothing here. This was all field. Yeah. Pigs! I don't see it now. I don't know where. This is it right here. This one right here. Not this blue one, but this, this, one this right beige here. one. Yeah. yeah. This is it. This beige one right here. Right. This is the house. And the chicken coop stood where? Right where that truck is. Is where the chicken coop used With to be. With that, where that red truck? Yep. So it's right there. Where the bodies were born, uh, buried in the area, I don't really know. 
this is it. Now, the movie with Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Um, the parts of it with the boys being kidnapped and whatnot. Right. Was that true to form? How he used yes. a, another, a younger boy. The story goes that uh, that Gordon Northcott moved here from Saskatchewan, Canada. So he uh, wasn't even really from this area, and he um, he had his nephew with him that his parents just unloaded on him. I'm assuming, and he started abusing his nephew, and then. Um, forced his nephew to help him kidnap boys and he would go as far as all the way into LA to kidnap the boys. The other thing interesting is that apparently his mother um, was involved in the kidnapping. Her name was Sarah Northcott and um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the child that was kidnapped in the movie was, uh, his name was Walter, Walter Collins. And the whole story of the movie is that there's so much bizarre stuff around that. Um, the LAPD was incredibly corrupt at the time. And uh, they would, if they would have somebody who was giving them trouble, especially women, uh, they would put them in the mental hospitals just to get them out of the way. And uh, so once they're, they've been institutionalized, then they're no good as, you know, no one's going to believe anything they say at that point. But uh, they had a... a had uh, her institutionalized because her son was uh, kidnapped and um, they found some kid who said he was uh, her son and pretty much forced her to uh, say uh, yeah this is my son on uh, to the newspaper uh, they were they were pressuring her says, oh we'll keep looking for your son but right now we're gonna do this and when she finally said no this isn't my son they stuck her in a mental hospital to shut her up Notice. Okay, so I put glue down in two different places. Hello, Bomero. Put it down here. Okay. Ooh. I didn't really get that. I gotta say, it doesn't stick that well. And I put it on top of the black glue here which I gotta say is actually sticking better so I'm not concerned I don't think I'm going to be concerned about whether it sticks or not I'm just going to go right over this okay then good to know I don't have to take this black stuff up Hello, everybody! We're coming at you for shout outs at a new location. It's cold. It's not cold. Oh. This is our front porch, our front patio. And it's time for neighborhood community shout outs. Yay! Yay. Yay. Joseph Gibson recommended a music channel to us. It's called the The Dritty Music. The Dritty Music. I'm gonna put a link to their channel down below. Go by and check them out. Give them a thumbs up and subscribe. They got some pretty good music. Katie Caroline, we missed you, girl. Glad to have you back. Video Star Mad. She's got an awesome channel, guys. She does some pretty good visual effects and stuff. Make sure you go by and check out her channel. Give her a thumbs up, subscribe, and show her some love. The Milne Life. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Proudest Mama 77. Happy 35th birthday today. And I'm so sorry about your birthday gift. That is a horrible birthday gift. She broke her wrist on her birthday. Who'd you punch? <laughs> I don't know how you managed to do that, but I'm so sorry. And uh, that's all I have for shout outs tonight, but 
My question yesterday was what has been your biggest adrenaline rush? And we got lots of things from driving through snowstorms, first plane ride, first tattoo, roller coasters, downhill skiing. Emily Awesome Sauce Vaughn was one of the best. She was in Australia, and I don't know if any of you have ever seen the Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia. You can climb that, and she did. I, I do a lot of crazy stuff, but no, never will you ever catch me doing that. Um, Amber Rice went, she does roller coasters, that's her adrenaline rush. In Ohio, there's a roller coaster called the Top Thrill Dragster. It goes 120 miles per hour in five seconds. My stomach would be back there. <laughs> um, and Bambi S, she was with a friend who does parachuting out of, uh, jumping out of planes, and where she went, he bought her a ticket and he made her go up in the plane, but she didn't jump. She didn't jump. She stayed in this, the seat by the, the pilot. I, that is one of my dreams. I want to parachute out of a plane. That is one. That's, if I have a bucket list, which I don't, if I was to have a bucket list, that would be on my bucket list. Jump out of a perfectly good plane. With a parachute, yes. I, I want a parachute out of a plane. That has been something I've wanted to do forever. Forever. And Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, she bungee jumped when she was 16 years old. That's one of my things. I bungee jumped when I was 29. And the... Feel the rush that you get from that, that falling, and, and just, oh, uh, it's so exhilarating. It's like, ah, yeah, it, it was amazing. And there's nothing like it. And then the other thing I did was parasailing when I was in Cancun, Mexico. And that was awesome. That was awesome. What, what is your most uh, adrenaline, your highest adrenaline moment? Well, I guess I just do the roller coasters like most people, but Megan got me on this thing at Knott's Berry Farm called The Revolution. Oh, yeah. And that would scare the crap, crap out of me because it's this pendulum thing that would go all the way 120 degrees, slam it all the way all over the next, and spins at the same time. And uh, the only thing that bothered me was that I looked awful flimsy. And I was just thinking, <laughs> this thing's going to come down, and I'm going to go rocketing off. <laughs> and then Megan kept wanting to go on this thing over and over, and she's going, I ain't going on it. <laughs> My question for tonight is, do you know your heritage? And if you do, what is your heritage? Groovy man. Groovy man. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, yesterday was a pretty simple question, so I had a lot of people answer it correctly. Uh, where was uh, Frighteners filmed? And it was a Peter Jackson movie before he did all those uh, um, uh, Lord of the Ring things which he also filmed in the same place. He does all of his work in New Zealand. Some people actually put specific locations in New Zealand. Yes, yeah, New Zealand. Oh, I heard. <laughs> okay. And the people who got that right, number, uh, number one is Angie Lucas Life, uh, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, Terry Johnson, Allison Fox, the YouTube guy, and YouTube guy 1985, right? Yes. And Greg Myers. And tonight's question, about a movie from 1973. It's one of our favorites called Legend of Hell House. Uh, Roddy McDowell, overacting, but I still like it. Um, what? It was written by a guy named Richard Matheson, who also wrote the book. The book was just called Hell House. Who, whose life was it loosely based on? It was based on an actual person. This um, uh, the, the owner of the house. 
there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow. Push the button and the thing Well, you didn't say bye. Bye!